Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Retrolog to create lush warm pads that will give a great analog touch to your productions. Let's get started. So here's Retrolog 2 with an initialized preset and I'm going to give you a strategy on how to create big lush pad sounds right now. So the very first thing I want to do is make sure that Retrolog is in polyphonic mode. And before I even start, I'm going to make sure that my oscillator mixer is turned a little bit down on oscillator 1. So I have enough headroom to add more oscillators because in this patch, we're going to add quite a few things. So I'm going to start with oscillator 1 and I'm going to straight away turn it into multi-mode because this gives me a very big wide sound. So now let's try and add some more voices. Let's add, let's say, four voices. And let's try and detune them. That's really nice. Let's move on to oscillator number two. I want to build a very, very larger than life sound. Oscillator number two. For this one, let's add a different color. Let's go to pulse and turn this into multi oscillator as well. Again, I'm going to add, let's say, four voices, detune it slightly, and now let's play with the shape and see what sounds we can come up with. I like this around six to seven, and again, you can see it sounds huge, so I'm going to turn down oscillator two as well. So this is so rich. When we start adding the filters, it's going to sound amazing. Now let's move on to oscillator number three. And for this one, I'm going to go again for a sawtooth wave and I'm going to add a multi oscillator as well. So let's detune this slightly. And why don't we go up one octave for this one? Let's pull it down and let's start introducing it. So this is a massive sound already. But now what I can do is I can go and add a sub to this. And let's play with the different types. I like both the sawtooth and the square. I'm going to keep it on sawtooth right now. Great. Now let's start playing with the envelopes. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a filter type. So I'm going to select the low pass filter six because this will give me a nice warm, but at the same time, bright enough sound so that the pad sounds big and nice. So let's try this and let's start bringing down the cutoff. I think this is what I want. I want this cutoff to have this kind of envelope. so that it opens really slowly. So let's try and do this using the envelope control. So let's go all the way up, just something around six, let's see, and let's play with this. So let's go attack. Okay, and now let's use the decay as well. Now, of course, what's a pad without proper release? We want this to tail off nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my amplitude envelope and turn the release up. And now this will also take effect. So now let's play a chord and see how it sounds. It's really nice. I want to make it a little bit slower. Even more. Maybe make it a little bit darker, turn down the cutoff. It's 
sounds really beautiful. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I add a little bit of slower attack to the amplitude envelope as well. So I don't have this, you know, slightly sharper attack on every note. So let's try this. So that's a big sounding pad. Now let's make sure we activate a little bit of the velocity for the filter so that this is a little bit more responsive to my playing. Now let's try and modulate this a little bit. I want to add a little bit of pitch modulation. Maybe I can use LFO1 and go to my matrix and set LFO1 to control the pitch. And maybe I want to assign my mod wheel as the modifier. So let's see what this does. Let's add some depth to this. And let's use the mod wheel. Of course, I want it a little bit faster because I want it to sound like a vibrato. Now, another thing that I can do is maybe add a noise generator right there. And I want to see if I can get some different flavors. Maybe I want to try, let's try the white noise at first. It makes the pad a little bit more airy. It has a little bit more sizzle, more top end. Let's try a few, maybe let's try the white bandpass filter like that. Make it a tad brighter now. You know, maybe we can add just a tiny bit of noise right there. And maybe I can add some resonance as well to add a little bit of interest to the sound. Maybe even more. Sounds very, very interesting. But I want to keep it simple for now, just a warm, lush pad. Now, bear in mind that we haven't even touched the effects. This is completely raw. These are the oscillators straight out of the box, the way they sound on Retrolog 2. So the sound is really, really lush to begin with. But now we can start sweetening the sound even more with effects. So let's go to the effects tab right there. And now maybe I want to add, I don't know, maybe a little bit of phaser. Why don't we try some phaser? Very slow rate. So that it adds a little bit of movement to the sound. Why don't we add some delay now? Just a little bit of delay, just to get a little specialization. And of course, last but not least, a little bit of reverb, a touch of reverb. And we have a lovely reverb in Retrolog. Let's try and turn the time up. It's really nice. It sounds really lush, this one. So there you go. This is how fast you can get a larger than life sound with Retrolog. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one.